welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you're having a lovely summer. Today is the 1st of July and I can't believe how quick it's arrived. Um, for me, June just flew by. So um, yeah, it's quite a shock that it's July at the moment. <laughs> but I've turned over my calendar and um, yeah, I'm excited to see um, what will happen, what I can create in July. This video is my first vlog. Um, I love vlogs. I love watching other YouTubers vlogs and see what they do behind the scenes, how they pack orders, um, how they make their work, all kinds of things like that. So I thought I'd do a similar one. Um, I'm going to show you how I pack orders and um, give you a few tips, I hope. <laughs> and I am also going to visit the David Hockney Museum in Cambridge and I'm going to do some painting, but I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do yet, but um, you'll have to find out. So grab uh, or make yourself a lovely tea or coffee and sit back, relax and enjoy my first vlog. <laughs> <laughs> See you at the end. Okay, so you've just seen me pack um, some orders and I wanted to show you um, how I print out my labels. So I don't have a fancy label printer that everyone seems to have because I don't have uh, many orders. I think if I had hundreds of orders, it would be really helpful to get um, one of those printers. But um, as I don't, <laughs> I use um, this really handy sticker sheet. So I just put it in my normal printer and um, there's four stickers, four labels, and I just print, print it out on um, my normal printer. And it's just really handy. The stickers that I use are from online labels. 
and I can put um, what they are below. Um, the only thing that I would say is that when I have, like, if I have one order, then um, I obviously only use one sticker. So then it becomes a bit complicated because um, I need to use up these stickers so I have to move on the computer. I use click and drop um, with the Royal Mail, um, but it is quite easy. They allow you to, once you've ordered, once you've purchased your label, you can go back and then change the layout of um, your labels. So I can like reuse this one. Um, and what I also love about these are they are um, recyclable, so, um, and they're paper based. So you can easily um, recycle them and there's no plastic, um, which is great. So yeah, um, if you print uh, orders, then hopefully that's helpful. <laughs> to show you um, the little postcard that I got back from the Hockney exhibition, um, David Hockney himself. I'm really sorry about the quality of the video um, before in the exhibition, so the lighting, I don't know why, but it made it look um, very uh, bright and weird. Um, so yeah, I got a little postcard um, to remind me of the exhibition. The exhibition is so lovely and also even 
if you haven't been to the Fitzwilliam in Cambridge, it's definitely worth a visit. The exhibition is so lovely. Um, when we went, I thought it was only going to be two rooms with his paintings, but it's actually spread across the entire top floor of the Fitzwilliam. And um, so you not only see David Hockney's work um, and work that he was inspired by, um, but you also see the main collection as well, which is really nice. Yeah, it's just a really interesting exhibition and I'd really recommend it. It's on at the Cambridge Fitzwilliam until the 29th of August um, and it's completely free. So this is my Epson 8550 um, printer that I bought recently and I guess whenever I buy something new um, or that's also very expensive, um, it takes me a while to like start using it and get confident enough to, <laughs> to break, break it in. Um, but so far, I'm absolutely loving this printer. Um, the main reason why I got it is because, I don't know if you can see, but down here is um, the eco tank. So this printer doesn't use cartridges. It uses um, bottled ink and you just open it up. I don't know if I can remember how you open it up. Mm okay here we go okay so you just open it up and um there are these are the individual um ones for each uh color and then um you get the bottle i don't have the bottles uh with me because i um filled all of them up but uh, you get the bottle and put it on and what is also convenient is that each bottle um is shaped like the mouth is shaped differently so for example you couldn't put the black in the yellow um container because it won't fit um so yeah that's also really handy but this ink is supposed to last you for years i mean i've just been printing for i haven't been printing that much but i've just been printing for a couple of months and the levels haven't gone down at all um, so yeah, so far so good. Um, it also has a scanner, um, which unfortunately is not A3 size. It's a slightly bigger than A4, A4 uh, but it does the job. <laughs> so it has this outer tray, which you just press the button and it goes back in, which is quite cool. Um, yeah, I, you know, I'm still playing around with it, still practicing with it, but so far, um, gets a thumbs up from me.
Okay, so I've basically printed the exact same print. Um, this is my Positano um, painting that I did um, last year. And I've just printed the same print on different types of paper. So this is the paper. I think I showed it to you before. Um, you get a sample pack and you get two papers of each um, type of paper, which is really cool. And so far, I am loving this one, which is um, Pinnacle Cotton Rag Bright White. I just think um, the quality is so good. And it's so, it's nice because it's so white. The colours really like pop. Um, this one, I realised that my settings were not the right settings. So um it had it on normal instead of best and so i have got a few lines which i'm not very happy with but when as soon as i changed it to best i got this print and it's just it's perfect the colors are wonderful and there's no lines whatsoever this one is um textured rag um yeah it's okay but i prefer this one Okay, then I tried it on, it's like textured watercolour paper. I don't know if you can see the texture. Oh yeah, there you go. Um, but I don't know, I'm not really a fan of the texture. I think it's better with just a flat um, paper. And then this one um, is Velvet Fine Art. And I also love this one. It's slightly creamier colour um, than this one. But I still like this one. This is the this is the one I love so far. So yeah, I don't know. Let's see. But yeah, at the moment this one is the top one. So my idea is that I will be able to print on demand. Um because at the moment I'm finding it really expensive to sell prints because you have to order quite a few from, um, you know, whatever printing company. Some do very small minimums, so like you can get 10 prints, but even so, that's then you're sitting on 10 prints and if they don't sell like really quickly, then um, it's kind of, yeah, like... You've, you've got a lot of stock to move so my idea is that somebody will hopefully <laughs> buy my lovely print on um my website and then on my web shop and then um I will just print it out on my lovely printer and um I'll sign it and send it off to the customer so yeah that's my idea um I'm also thinking, so this is A4 size. It can print A3, this printer, but I haven't bought A3 paper yet. So I'm not sure if like people really want A3 size prints. I might ask on Instagram and see if anybody wants one. Um, but I also thought it'd be cute to do like A5 prints. So this would be half of the paper. Then you could have like a little mini print, um, a little bit like my postcards um so yeah this is like a mini print i sell in a pack and um it'd be just slightly bigger than this and that would be really cute as well so yeah i'm really pleased with that um yeah So I've been thinking about um, what I put in my packages, in my orders. So at the moment, either I put one of these postcards in um, with my order and on the back it has, it's very simple, it just has my website and then I write a handwritten note to say thank you. And these can be used as little mini prints that you can display on your wall or yeah whatever you want them to be really so these are lovely and um i think they're a really nice addition to my orders but i have been thinking about 
having something that I can add to my orders that's a it's more practical. So something that would you would use every day um and I don't know might remind you of my shop. <laughs> So I got this idea from Emily Cromwell Designs. She, um, I found her on TikTok and she had this amazing idea of um, creating a bookmark. So the idea is that you have a bookmark that you put in for free in orders. People use your bookmark and um, all the information is on the back for your website. So if at some point um, they think, oh, um, I, I don't know. <laughs> Oh, I really need um a a postcard or something, I don't know. They'll think of me and they'll go on their website. Also, it could be a nice sort of present, I suppose, that you could give to somebody um this bookmark. So, anyways, I had a look, I did some research of different quotes that are related to books and travel because a lot of my work is uh, about traveling to Italy and um, I wanted to link it with the reading a book. So some of them are really good. I really like this one, to travel far there is no better book, no better, <laughs> to travel far there is no better ship than a book by Emily Dickinson. This is the most popular one, the world is a book and those who do not travel read only one page which I like, but I, I'm not sure if that's kind of like saying, well, if you don't travel, then you're not as knowledgeable. And oh, I don't know. I'm not sure about that one. <laughs> um, this one's fun. Keep reading. It's one of the most marvellous adventures that anyone can ever have by Lloyd Alexander. And then I, I really like this one. That's the thing about books. They let you travel without moving your feet. Jumpa Lahiri, sorry, the mispronunciation. And um, but then I thought, okay, well maybe I could just I not use a quote and just write something that I've written. Um, you know, that's just a kind of a saying. So I really like this one. When you can't travel, read a good book, which is really nice. And then get lost in a good book, which is quite fun. Anyways, this is my rough um, little sketches. So the idea is that the book is open and it reveals this world of travel. So that you've got like the Eiffel Tower and the Colosseum and then add some bits. And then on the back, the quote and then all of my details. These are some of my sketches. <laughs> some I like more than others. Um, so a little practice with coloured pencil, watercolour. I really like the combination of this and this one. And then I'm not sure about the book being open this way. I'm thinking about having it open this way instead. So yeah, this is my thinking so far on the bookmark. And I'm going to do, try and attempt to paint the final the final painting. Let's see how that goes.
So this is the end of the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked my video, please give me a little like, a uh, thumbs up and um, maybe even subscribe. If you could leave a comment as well, that would be so much appreciated. I love reading the comments and responding to them. And yeah, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.